here, we're seeing global demand for critical mineral search, right? You can't not watch the news. You can't watch policy pronouncements here in Canada or abroad that aren't really, you know, critical minerals as its basis. This is driven by electric vehicles, wind turbines, and other clean energy technology. How can Canada position itself not just as a supplier of raw materials, but as a leader in high value processing and manufacturing that keeps more of that economic and technological value here at home? That's Canada's perennial struggle, right? We want to be more than just uh, hewers of wood and drawers of water. We just had an election campaign that talked about some of those barriers. Certainly from the mining standpoint, our permitting regime is lengthy, time consuming. Both of the leading parties talked about the importance of, of making those time frames shorter and processes more efficient. We are a high cost jurisdiction. Part of the reason for that is we pay our workers really well. Mining employees are among the highest paid in the Canadian economy. We need to invest in new infrastructure so we can get those products to market. We just need to see more of it in the coming years, particularly when you sort of see the government of the United States, for example, really double down on these same topics.